Hey guys, it's HRHPHG here, and this is the performance and tutorial for incomplete reversal. Okay, now in this video I'm going to show you what the trick looks like and how it is done. But if those of you are really impatient, you can click on the link right here to skip to the tutorial. But I don't advise this. Okay, now, the spectator can give the deck a shuffle or some cuts, doesn't matter. And then they can pick any two cards from the deck. So let's say this and this, okay? So the Jack of Clubs and Three of Spades, okay? Now if you can't remember them, they'll be down here, but try to remember them yourself. Okay, now these two cards can go right back into the deck, okay? So give the deck a couple of cuts. Maybe a couple more. And then I'm going to give the deck one big cut kind of in the middle so to make two piles. So there's about right. Okay, that's good. Two piles, roughly equal. Now the spectator can pick either pile, doesn't matter. So let's say they chose this one. So we're going to take this one, and then actually I'm going to take the cards and shuffle them together. Okay, so like this. So they're kind of up, down, up, down, up, down, like that, interlocked. Okay, and then I'm actually going to do the same with this file. Okay, so again, shuffle them so that they're all kind of random. Okay, and then push them together. Okay, now. This trick is called incomplete reversal for a reason. And that is because when I click my fingers, the whole deck will reverse itself back into the right way. So all the cards face down. So I'll click my fingers. But then it's called incomplete. And this is the cool part. Because as I spread out the deck, two cards have not turned back over. And those two cards are yours the three of spades and jack of clubs. Pretty cool. Now, if you would like to know how this trick is done, keep watching, okay? And if you don't, you can turn off right now. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, now this trick is done with no setup, so it is impromptu, like I said before. And the spectator can really shuffle the deck. There we go. Now, they can actually pick two random cards. So, let's say this one and this one. The King of Spades and Ace of Clubs, okay? Try to remember those. There you go. And then, as you take them and place them back on top, or they place them on top, you're gonna get a break under them, okay? So, a pinky break and then you're going to do a double undercut. Now this is when you get a thumb break under the pinky break and then give the deck a cut from under, place it on top and then keep the break and then transfer it to a pinky break and then give the deck another cut to put those back on top and that gets their two cards to the bottom. And then you can do some false cuts if you like and then, what you're going to do is, this is the kind of tricky part. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a break under the bottom two cards, preferably a pinky break. And you can do that by just feeling for it. Or you can f kind of flick down and then catch it. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to try to inconspicuously flip these cards over like this at the bottom of the deck, except so they can't see it. So, I'm not sure how good I was at this in the performance, but I'm going to try to do it like this, and then, you might not have seen that, They're out, they are turned over, and then you're going to say you're going to give the deck a cut. And so what you're going to do then is you're going to take about half the deck, move it forward, and then as you pulled out, you're going to 
have it in this kind of grip and use these two fingers to pull the bottom card, the upside, one of the upside down cards, one of theirs, in. So now you have two piles with their, with one of each of their cards on the bottom upside down. Okay, and now they can choose a card, choose a pile. Doesn't matter which one. And whichever one they choose, you can pick up. So let's say this one, or this one, actually, because it's a bit bigger, easier to do it with. And now what you're going to do is you're, you're going to say you're going to turn, it looks like you're going to turn this one over and then shuffle them together. So they're kind of the wrong way around. But really what you're going to do is you're going to, instead of just turning one over, you're going to turn them both over, which they don't actually notice. And then you're going to shuffle them together without letting them see that actually all of these cards are upside down except for that one. And then you're going to push them together like that. And then you can do it with both files. So like this. And then shuffle them together. Okay. Okay. And then you can explain to them what you just did so that they should all be mixed and matched. And then you'll explain to them the principle of incorrect uh, reversal or whatever you called it. However you want to explain it. And then you can spread it out either way up probably better to do it this way, more suspense, and show that actually two cards are upside down. Here's one, and here's another one. And those are their two cards, the Ace of Clubs and King of Spades. Now I hope you liked this trick, and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you next time. Bye.